stationary shenanigans. I just wanted to share with you a haul I got recently at Kinokuniya. Um, for those of you who don't know, Kinokuniya is a Japanese bookstore and stationery store, and they have a bunch of other things. Um, I was on a trip for work, uh, and I was driving through New Jersey, and I decided to stop. It's right across from New York City. Um, if anyone's interested or they're in the North Jersey area, I highly recommend it. There's also Mitsuwa, which is like a Japanese grocery store, a Daiso, which is like a Japanese dollar store, and a bunch of other cool stores. And of course, it got super packed. I went there on a Friday morning of a holiday weekend. I knew it was going to get packed, so I tried to get in now there as soon as possible because it turns into utter chaos. So, first up, we have one large bag from Kinokuniya. Um, I don't think I can put it in here. So I'm just going to take things out. It's actually been over a week since I bought this stuff, so I myself don't really remember what I bought. Um, so this will be kind of like an unboxing for me too. Um, so we'll just take everything out of the first bag. Yep, that's it. Okay. So first thing, I guess it's not really stationary, it's just Japanese related because I was at a bookstore. <laughs> Uh, this is a self-study Kana workbook, um, learning through listening and writing for Katsugana and Hiragana. Um, I used to know Japanese well, better, I should say, um, when I was in college, and I kind of given it up, and it was one of those things that during the pandemic that I wanted to start learning again. <clears throat> so, um, I thought this is a really, and plus I, you know, I study languages formally and professionally, um, I'm really into pedagogy and the approaches to learning languages and applied linguistics. <clears throat> so I'm always interested to explore, um, <clears throat> sorry, allergies, uh, different textbooks and stuff like that. So I went through each one and this one was the most unique. The rest I felt like you can kind of either get off Amazon or um, in a Barnes and Noble. So this is actually, I think, published in Japan. So I was excited to pick that up. And it was $21.99, which isn't bad. It does come with a CD, so I'm excited. Okay, so that's my non-stationary item from Kinokuniya. First off, I had to get it when I saw it. I don't even know if this is like a thing. Let me see if I can zoom out here. Oh, that's better. Sorry about that, I'm still getting used to this. This is, oh, something falling out of it. Let's see if you can see it. I This is Kokio's Color Palette Binder Notebooks. I've had a lot of their binders and um, refillable notebooks before. Um, this one just like stood out to me. I have never seen it. Um, first of all, I love the color green, you know that. Um, it has like this metal, it's just like higher quality. Like this is a lot more expensive than the, the other ones. You've probably seen like the smart notebook or smart ring and um, campus notebooks. So this is a binder and let me check out the paper. So this is a B5 binder and I think it's with 26 um, rings. It comes with um, index dividers, and it just came with probably like, I don't know, maybe like 15 or 20 pages of lined paper. Um, it's really sturdy. It's kind of heavy because it, it's made of like a canvas. Um, and I don't think you can see it in the video, but, um, it says it's washable. So I don't really know what that's all about. Um, made in Japan, so we know it's authentic. Um, I guess it has something to do with the sturdiness of the material. So this is quite expensive. This was $18.75, but I, like I said, I haven't seen it before. Maybe it was on jet pens. Um, I had to go for it. And then normally I would buy refills of loose leaf paper, um, but I saw this Maruman loose, loose leaf uh, refill that fits into it. That's actually like a pad. Um, so I, I picked uh, plain paper just because I just wanted to try something different for the lines. So it's like a notepad that um, is perforated at the top so you can tear off to put into the binder. Um, I just like that, so I figured I'd give it a try. This was probably at a better price point of $4.75, and I'm sure you can find all kinds of refills out there. So I'm excited to try that. Uh, other in the notebook category, I, I don't know if anyone knows the Apica notebooks. I love them. I actually bought these two mini ones um, to keep passwords and stuff and just like bank account information because um, I just want something small that I can put in like with my pencil case or carry with me that's for like important things. They were $1.80 each, high quality paper. If you've never used Apica, I highly recommend them. Um, <clears throat> they're kind of like a thing and I'm pretty sure you can get them on Amazon. So I got mini, I've never seen a mini mini like this before. I usually get like, a5 or b5 or something so i was excited to try that and then here we have our small bag um 
this is more of like the stationary type stuff. Okay, so first thing is um, the Kokio Neocrits Unite pencil case. Um, these are the ones that stand up, as you can see in the picture. I have one of these that I bought from Tokyo Pen Shop, like, probably almost a decade ago. Um, one of, like, the original ones that I just love. But this was different because it's short and fat. I don't know if you can tell in the video. I actually thought it was, like, too short to fit a pen, so I took one out to test it and it totally fit. And I haven't seen the short and fat ones. I've seen, like, the slim ones, and I've seen, like, the regular tall ones either on Jet Pens or Tokyo Pen Shop or whatever. And like, I don't know, I was just really feeling this like gray. I just picked it up. I was like, I think I have to get it. Definitely pricier at $24.95, but again, it is Kokio and they're usually a little bit more pricey. Um, when you open it up, it is like a um, pale green, which actually makes things easier to see. So I'm all for that. Um, and it stands up to put all your goodies in it. So, um, Figured I'd try something like that. As if I really need any of this, really, you know? But whatever. Life is short, y'all. Okay, so this is more of like the actual pen and stuff. So we'll get into that. Let's see what else is in here. Sorry for the crinkling bag noises. Oh, you always get like a bookmark and I just like really like that picture. Um, with like a vintage bookstore. And then washi tape and the receipt. So no one, don't even wanna look at the receipt because who knows how much I spent. Okay, washi tape. Um, this one kind of gave me like 90s vibes. <laughs> I just was really into it. Um, it's just different, like there's like a beer and like a checklist and like holding a bird. I don't really know. It's probably better for planner use. I just loved it. Um, and then um, it was a normal price, $2.55, which is actually pretty comparable to what you can get online. Um, and there's just something about when you see stuff in person versus buying it online. Like, I don't know. It's just one of those things. Then I really like this thin one. Again, this kind of like plaid looks a little bit different. Um, I like the thinner ones to organize um, my project workbooks and stuff like that. And a dollar ninety, also good price. Don't know why I felt a need to have a really thin ruler. I have this thing where I want to have be able to carry like everything I need, but I want it to be slim or small so it doesn't heavy up my bag. Um, so this is just a Rayme ruler. Um, all of us in Japanese, so I couldn't really uh, explain. I know it's centimeters, obviously. That's the only downside. So if you are American, when you buy a lot of like rulers from Japanese stationery, it's always uh, centimeters, not inches. Um, but that's fine. It's really for me is just um, to actually like make lines and boxes in my notebooks and stuff. So three ninety five for that. And I think is this made in Japan? I'm not sure. It might be okay. So for pens, um, first up. I forget, is this a Delphonics? Y'all might know, but I got this, um, I just really like this like nude color or like beige color, I've been really into that lately. It's like a mini pen, it's all metal, it's really heavy, which I love, and I wanted something again that I can throw into like a cosmetics case when traveling or a wallet or something, so I'm um, excited to try that out. Then we have, are these all three Energels? There's like this line of Energels, which y'all know are kind of standard now. You can get them even at Target. But I guess these might be like limited edition barrels. Also give me 90s vibes or something. I don't know. I like this one with like the black design. And then these like tan circles. And all these were $3.55 each, which is pretty normal. Um, no idea what the ink colors are because I didn't test them. This is also kind of like a tan and black camouflage. I don't know why. I just like that. And the good thing is, you know, you can refill this. I got one in 0.3, two in 0.3, and then one in 0.5. And you can refill them probably with any Energel. So since I never saw them before, whether on Jet Pens or Tokyo Pen Shop, I felt like I had to get all these. I mean, maybe I have seen them, but seeing them in person actually made me want to buy them. I usually, um, you know, scrounge through to see. But then I just got a regular Uniball Signo 0.5 in all black. Again, I don't know why I was like really into this like plain um, motif or like things. I This one I specifically got to bring to work because I don't like using anything flashy at work because I guess it's considered unprofessional in general. Let me know if you all experience that too. Um, so I stick with like black thing, just like plain black or plain blue. I would never like use anything too flashy. So I thought this would be good. Um, this is my favorite find. This is like what set off my purchases. This is, I think it's Zebra, the clip on Slim 
with two ink colors, black and red. These are two, two of the same pens. I got one in white for work because it's more professional. And then I got this like fun peach color because it just felt summery and uh, vibes. Um, I have never seen this one. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever seen this, what is it, clip-on slim. I've seen versions of this, but not like this slim. Like it's literally the, um, the width of like a regular pen body and the black and the red and it's got a grip. And for $4.95 each for a nice zebra pen, I cannot argue. And I'm curious if there's any hacks to, I can refill them with different inks, whether it be different zebra ones or um, hacks from other custom multi pen so that was like kind of like what set me off so that's all I have now for uh Kunikunia. and now I would like to share my stationary items that I purchased at Daiso the first thing we have is this A4 clear folder. I just really like the colors and I'm always all about these kind of style of folders. Um, they're really easy to transport documents in or like keep documents safe that you need to remember where they are. So it's like a yellow and teal stripe. So I got that. Then I got this little refillable leather notebook thing. It says something Bianco and I can't see it. Um, I just really liked it, like a little pocket notebook and the quality looks pretty nice. Um, just a seed, um, why do I want to say tape corrector? <laughs> a corrector of tape. Actually, what would you call this? I can't think of the word right now, sorry. I got this one because it's like long and skinny and I thought it would fit well in my uh, new stand-up pencil case from Coquio. So I wanted to try that one out. I got these thousand mini sticky notes. Um, they're like little tabs. I love these for uh, when I have to um, take notes in a novel um, because for anyone who doesn't know, I'm doing a graduate degree in literature too, or like at work when I have to um, reference things or my plan or whatever. And I just like how it like, is in a little box. So you could actually put this like in your pencil case and I thought that was cool, so. Then I wanted to just try these Japanese triangle pencils, um, I guess made from cedar. They are made in Japan and they are all 2B. I think they're all the same, it's just the color of the writing. I don't know if you can see on the pens, or pencils are different. So I was excited for that. I can actually smell the, the wood through the packaging. So then I got these sticky notes cause I like the color scheme. Um, and they look, they just look nice. Uh, this isn't really exciting, but to me it is. These are ballpoint pens. I have a pack of blue that I specially ordered from somewhere. Um, these pens are like really popular, I would say, I think in China and all throughout Europe. When I lived in Russia, I used these kind of pens and they're just like awesome. Um, they're like cheap ballpoint pens, but they're also like nostalgic for me. They just like, they're everywhere. Um, every place you, you go in a lot of like Eastern European countries, these are the pens that they use. So I had blue and then they had black hair. I was like, I'm going to get them because I think I pay like $7 on Amazon for the blue ones. Um, and I think these were like a dollar. So you'd be surprised. You cannot find pens that actually look like this in Target and stuff anymore. I think we used to have them back in the day. So I was excited for that. I got this B7 size vinyl mesh case. It's a really like good plastic and I got red just because it's easier to see. This I figure would be good to carry around my little items, like whether it's sticky note or my um, paper clips or something that's like, you don't want to keep in your actual pencil case or like, you know, you could put money in here. It just, it just felt really nice again for like a dollar or something. So we went for it. Pencil covers again for the, or pencil caps, uh, perfect for the pencils that I just bought. And then these are always useful to have. I like this little notepad with a dog um, in London. I think it's a hundred uh, sheets. Um, these are just really nice to have on my desk. Well, I don't know if I would use these at work, but they're really nice to have on my desk to jot things down or to like insert into a planner or something like that. So I just like the aesthetic of that. So that's actually all my stationary items from Daiso. I had already gone to Kino Kunia and spent a lot of money on stationery there before I even realized there was a Daiso next door uh, that I could have bought even more stationery at. 
Um, but the one, at, the stuff at Daiso, most of the stuff is either made in China or Vietnam, and it's not actual name brand of like the good Japanese stationery. So I wasn't too heartbroken. Um, but I think next time, if I go again, I would start here and spend more time in the stationery aisle here and just get a bunch more stuff because your money would go farther. So that is all for Daiso. Thanks for watching. The rest of this video is non stationary items. So if you're not into that, thank you for watching. Now I just wanted to share the haul of non-stationary items that I got from Daiso. Like I said before, for those who don't know, Daiso is kind of like a 100 yen shop from Japan or like an American dollar store. So they have all kinds of stuff. Um, I would have looked longer, but the store was so chaotic and it was a holiday weekend. And they even ran out of bags at the store. It was funny. Um, that I just kind of at that point grabbed what I wanted and just left. Another thing to note is like, I didn't realize till halfway through that the price tags correspond to like what the yen amount was. And I, I didn't know. So like I kept being like, oh, should I get this? I don't know how much it's gonna be. It might be like insanely overpriced. Um, but they have signs up all around the store that explain how much each thing would cost by looking at the item. I don't even know how much I spent. I think it might've been a total of $60 and I got a lot of stuff. So pretty much I would say everything was like $4 or below. So don't regret it. So anyway, these are my non-stationary items if you're interested. Um, now that we're going back to the office, it seems like I just, I like bento stuff and I want to start bringing more, um, of my lunches or snacks or whatever, especially when I travel. So I just got this general, um, smile for you, delicious time. Today's a nice day. Box, really good for like fruit and nuts and stuff and snacks. Um, then they have this like, it's like military line of bento boxes. Um, I like this one because it didn't have anything like around it. It's just like a two tier, so 300 yen. So it would be like $3 and so it's probably like $4 here. Um, I just like, again, I love green and I love how thin this was. It fit in my briefcase or my work bag. If it's Even if it's just like snacks, if I'm not actually bringing my lunch. Um, I actually normally don't, that's the, what I wanted to say. I don't like the ones with things on the side because I feel like they either break off um, or they like get in the way, but I just got this because it has a sauce cup and chopsticks built in. So it'd be nice for like a salad or something. Um, again, it says 300 yen, so it's probably less than $4. Happy about that. Um, so those are the bento box uh, boxes I got. And then I did get like an uh, insulated bag for the bento box. This is my favorite, just relax and have fun because that's the vibes I'm trying to have for the rest of this year. Um, and I got these. Um, I don't know which are gonna be leak, leak proof or leak resistant if any of them are because it is from Daiso, but these are um, lunchbox belts that are made out of silicone. I like this teal color. Then I just got a non-insulated bag um, for bento boxes or like if you put fruits or whatever to take to work because I really like the color and the feel of it. And I think, it's, I'm sure it's machine washable, which is awesome. I did get these two mini cups with lid. Uh, again, probably not leak proof, but like whatever. Um, they're in French and there's a little fish and a little cow. I thought that was fun. So went for that. I did get a cutlery set because this is pretty nice and such a small like compact container because it has a fork, spoon and chopsticks and it's like interchangeable. I like that red orange color. Um, again, I guess we're going back to the office. I don't know. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. I did get a handkerchief because I was looking for, I have a bunch of Japanese handkerchiefs from when I live, not when I lived, when I was in Japan um, years ago and I literally use them all the time and I wanted to find like a, a an affordable priced one so this is like the best I could come up with I think it was like a dollar or two there's some on Amazon that end up being like 15 or 20 dollars each which they're worth it because I love using them um and the quality is great but I figured I might have die so so should I enjoy cheap prices and when I asked the uh, person working there if they had handkerchiefs I think first he took me to like the baby section um and these are just handkerchiefs and they're like little stars. I was like, you know what, I can do that. I didn't get the other ones that had like actual baby designs, but these are pretty generic in my opinion that I could use them. So got that. And then this is for pills and vitamins. Um, I had one that I use, especially when I travel, but like the contain the lids on the containers like don't stay closed. I don't know if this one's going to. Um, I think this one's made in Japan, so I think the quality would be better from what I got like from Target. Um, 
because like literally I would open my bag and uh, I would have pills everywhere because they, the lids would pop open. So hopefully that'll turn out well. I got this just comb that folds up. I don't know why, I just liked it. Uh, I got this um, compact mirror because my contacts either need cleaning or they fall out or whatever sometimes. I actually carry a little mirror around so I can um, put my contacts back in. It's just easier. And this is a cat wearing a braid and this is fashionable. I just felt like that was very, uh, what I'm trying to go for. And it's like really heavy. For 300 yen, that's a pretty good deal. So, um, and the last thing of non-stationary is this like, uh, I don't know what you call it, just like tray. I was in the kitchen section and I actually thought it was made of glass. And I was like, wow, that's really nice to put like, you know, stuff on or like make a fruit plate or whatever. And then I went to pick it up and it's just plastic, but it's like really good quality. It actually looks, I mean, it looks better in person than it does on camera. So um, I picked that up probably for, I don't know, a dollar or two. So those are all my non-stationary items. And since I shared all the non-stationary items I got from Daiso, I figured I would share with you all the non-stationary items I got at Mitsua. Now Mitsua is like the actual grocery store. Um, they have all kinds of food in a food court um, and like regular groceries and, and gifts and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, it's a little bit more pricey because everything's kind of imported from Japan. It's also extremely crowded. Um, so I picked up a few things that I thought were unique and interesting. Uh, first is like your skincare stuff. I thought this funny. It's like a whole line of um, men's skincare. They have like a whole aisle. Um, these are masks. Uh, I, I don't know if it's made for like boys who have acne or is it just like the marketing of it. Um, I just thought I'd go for it. I liked how it's 10 masks, but it's in like a single packaging. And it was cheap for 10 masks. I feel like it was like $7 or something, which um, is a really good price. So and I, I'm always satisfied with the quality of Japanese items in general, hence um, everything you uh, saw that I just bought. Uh, so I figured I would try that. Then, okay, uh, trigger warning, it could be gross. <laughs> um, this is like to clean the pores on your nose. It's like from a Moroccan clay. I just saw, it was like on, um, not just, is it what I want to display or demonstration? It was on like display and it had an interesting like TV promo about it. So I was like, I might try it. And I feel like it was $10 or around there, which is basically the same price you pay for something like this at Ulta or Target. So I went for it. This is from Una, which is a popular Japanese men's skincare line. You might have actually seen some of it like on Amazon or maybe, I don't think Ulta sells any of that stuff, but Anyway, this is like a cleansing gel um, for your face that turns hot when you use it, I guess. Um, so I was excited to try that, give it a whirl. I wanna say it was maybe like $8.99 or, or something like that. So again, not too pricey, give it a try. For anyone who's used these like Japanese body towels, kind of like loofahs, um, I really like this one because it's almost like it's knitted. It doesn't have that plasticky, feeling that like loofahs have or even the other Japanese uh, loofahs have. It literally feels like a knitted afghan blanket or something so I figured I would give that a try. Um, I've used these before and I really like them. Another bento box item. I bought all this stuff before I went to Daiso so if I had known there was a Daiso um, maybe I wouldn't have bought as much here but anyway this is a made in Japan bento box. At first I picked out this one because it's thin and big. So like it would fit really well in a briefcase or in a side pocket in your backpack or something to take to work. Um, and it feels really good quality and it's blue and sparkly. I don't know if you can tell. But when I read it further, I think it's like because it's made from silver ions, it's like antimicrobial and antibacterial. And there was like a whole bunch of different products that were like this, I guess, because of COVID or whatever. Um, so I just thought it was interesting. I'm not buying this because of like the ions in it. Cause I don't even know if it's really truthful or if it works. I bought it because of the shape, um, and the quality and the price. I just liked it. So if I get some antibacterial stuff in the meantime, that is also a bonus. Okay. Now we're doing like the snacks section. Um, I got these like matcha corn snacks. I just like anything with matcha. So that's why I got that. And I got like the... I think this is like milk candy. Um, I honestly picked this one out because it's seashells. That was my only reason. 
That's also how I pick out wine. I go by the label, something fun. Then I got matcha milk candy. Um, they have all different kinds and I really couldn't pick and I just kind of just went for it. Um, so I was excited for this one. Then I actually got these for work. I love three-in-ones. This is Nescafe three-in-one, like coffee, cream, and sugar. Uh, this is an authentic made in Japan one. You can get a lot like other Asian grocery stores, Chinese, Vietnamese. Um, some of them are really pretty decent and it's just easier when, it, when you're in an office to just have hot water and just make a coffee at your desk at work. So I got that to take to work with me now that we seem to be having to go into the office more. Um, I also got Sakura tea. I've had this brand before. It's pretty affordable. I think I bought this like one or two years ago and I was up there. It's just good. It's a good size. It's just 10 tea bags. But this one's black tea with cherry blossoms. Um, I had the green tea one before and I didn't know they had a black tea or I did and didn't get it. I don't know. So, um, so I thought it'd be interesting to try the black tea with cherry blossoms. And then I got this container of green tea. It's a pink container. I forget what this one is. This is Fuka, Fuka Mushicha. Um, I forget, I read what the difference was. It's not, it's not Sencha and it's not something that I normally would get, which is why I chose this one. And I believe it was on sale from um, Takaokaya. Uh, so, and it's a nice tin. And then with that, I get the um, tea filters for loose tea. They're always, these are made in Japan, but they're always a good price there. It was like $2 for this one. I think they're like more like $6 if you go to a grocery store around here. So, and these ones you can actually fold and seal. So it's really easy. I wish I could be one of those people that uses tea strainers, but I just feel like it's just way better and easier to clean up to actually use these tea bags. So. Those are my non-stationary items. Uh, thank you for watching and have a good day wherever you are.